this is a 10 month course and it has it, its advantages and disadvantages so the advantage being you get to the job field a lot faster uh, bottom line bottom line up front is that hi raj welcome to the yocket connect series First of all thanks a lot for joining us and I'm sure uh, the kind of insights that you will share with us of doing uh, a masters in management course in the US would give us a lot of uh, insights as to how to do it first of all and secondly what are the hurdles that you went through and the kind of hurdles that the students watching this can avoid so I'm sure it's going to be a great interaction but before that I would request you to please give a quick uh, background of yours for the viewers you would love to know what have you done before this and and uh, what made you choose us for your masters absolutely thank you shonak for having me here it's my pleasure to share my journey and my experience so far so just to give a little bit of background about myself uh, i have done my bachelor's in management studies and majored in finance followed by that i was working for about close to 2 years uh, as a business analyst where i was looking at various imports and studying import data and that's when i got this new profound love for data post that i started working in as a product manager into the in, into an fmcg company where i was basically deriving customer insights from data so all of these experience got me this new profound love for data and i wanted to do something you know take this skill set more formally like you know stand, make make the skill set into a standardized manner and that's why i wanted to do a course focused on this so that's why i chose this course masters in quantitative management which is basically masters in business analytics which is a combination of business management which was my background and uh, combined with analytics so it was like a proper balance of where i was and where i wanted to be so that's why i decided to do this at duke university is fuqua school of business so yeah this is pretty much i just graduated 3 weeks back and currently i am just finalizing my job and like just looking to move forward from here wonderful raj first of all congratulations for graduating and Thank you. Uh, Yes so I have I have a couple of questions out of that answer that you gave let me just go through them one by one uh my first question is uh you know is this a very quant savvy course given that it's a data analytics course or uh it is lower on the quant side so that it uh, makes the perfect fit between a management and an analytics course so how is that course like i'm asking you this question in order to understand that should people who are seeking to go into heavy data analytics should they pursue this or someone who want to strike a balance and just want to understand how the world of business analytics works should they go for it so what would be your opinion yeah that's a great question and as i said it's like a balance between business management and business analytics so i would say that uh, this isn't entirely relied upon just business analytics they you, you start the course with a like in coding like you know we had this pre r programming language course where they give you the basics of r they also had like you know foundation of business so that was like you know you get to know about all the business part so it progresses slowly so if you, like it is a great course if you are looking to strike a balance between you know business and uh, analytics it is not entirely focused on analytics for that you can you know you can look out for data data analytics purely data analytics course this is more of a uh, like you know mixture of both so from moving from here you get a lot of career paths to choose from you just can, like you know you just don't have that okay i just have to go into the analytics side you various streams open from this course so it is one advantage of pursuing this course and that is the main reasons why why i did this course uh, also i wanted to understand is this a stem uh, stem designated course yeah uh, this is a designated course uh, you get like stem uh, extension out of it 
and you know just to give you a structure this course is like uh, a very uh, it is a very intense course it's just a 10 month course okay and in this 10 month you have uh, five terms so you would have wow. like five terms in a span of 10 months which uh, uh, which would uh, you know there is like you have you be exams five times six weeks each term is like six weeks right and yeah it basically progresses up so yeah it is to to be fit up it is a stem course but it is also a very intense course as well actually that brings me to another question the fact that this mm-hmm. is just a 10 month course were you also able to join any other clubs and societies in the university or do any other sort of extracurriculars or your whole day just went into doing assignments and studying yeah that's that's again a very great question so you know the the thing about this course is the like you do not have a warm up like day one you get into the battlefield you you know they just started you don't like you know you got to get into the game from day one and yeah in the initial phase i found to adjust because we had like loads of assignments the entire moving into a new country living by my own but moving forward like we have a lot of clubs into into this uh, in, into the college like uh, we have a business club we have an entrepreneur club we have the tech club which was I, i was a part of the tech club and you can choose a lot of clubs based on your interest and yeah if you can manage your time well and if you know you are ready to you know work hard into this you can of course be part of the club you have a lot of options to be part of it and that is like one of the biggest part of the experience like you know you cannot just go there and study and do the assignments the entire experience depends on how many like you know meeting new people every day networking out there you meet so many great people out there so joining club just going out focusing on the extra curricular balancing it with your course work that is like one of the most important part of the experience out there wonderful wonderful glad to know that you uh, you know uh, have been a part of this extra curriculars as well and uh, i mean i i think that was a good insight you know that people can juggle between uh, curriculars and extra curriculars both and it is possible to you know strike that particular balance absolutely right perfect uh, i now want to understand um, in case if you had not received an admit from duke university which was the other university that you were considering so uh, one of my uh, choices so some of my choices was university of washington which is based out in uh, in your seattle there was university of southern california uh, purdue university uh, university of so yeah these were a few universities that i had shortlisted based on my background and the course offered out there uh why did you decide to do a management course in a uh, in a broad and not in india wherein we have so many good mba colleges here so what made you choose universities in the us over the mba colleges in india yeah that's a great question and it was a really tough decision so because i actually had started preparing myself for mba out there in india but then you know just the uh, number one reason was the exposure to culture you know in india we have this bubble and i've been there but you know you're meeting people from various backgrounds it gives you you know knowing their thoughts and sharing your experience out there that was one of the main reason you know so yeah uh, one interesting part if you know maybe may, many people would have said that your most of our exams are open book you know you can actually look at books and give exam because uh, because they do not rely on by hearting they are not heavy on you know you by heart stuff because that actually doesn't make sense so it is actually applying this knowledge into real life setting real life cases in exams where you apply all of these knowledges all of these formulas and then just work Well, yeah that is pretty interesting because you actually focused on understanding things rather than you know just by hearting stuff and blurting it all out the work life out here work life balance out here was something that was drawing me out here as well so all of these reasons and factors combined that 
wanted to switch to another country out here. Uh, the last question I have is, which is around the jobs. So you are someone who has recently graduated. You are in the process of finding jobs now. And given the fact that yours is a STEM course, it gives you a certain advantage uh, in terms of you know, staying back in the US. So uh, how how would you rate uh, the job scenario in the US right now after uh, a course like this? Uh, how are you, how soon are your peers getting a job, and how soon are you, are you expecting to get one? So. Uh, this is a 10 month course and it has it, its advantages and disadvantages so the advantage being you get to the job field a lot faster it's uh, intense like it you get done with the degree a lot faster but of course with that comes the you know you uh, you do not get much time to job hunt during the course because you are so much into adjusting you have so many assignments you have exams you have five exam five terms so that all piles up but uh, bottom line bottom line up front is that you would eventually get a job like you know you just have to trust the process and be consistent with it you like um our data like for my university for this particular course i do not know the exact is somewhere around 97 or 98% employment and so yeah eventually you would be getting a job maybe a month after you graduate or two months after you graduate but you would be getting it and just the just the you know one tip that would be really helpful is you know be consistent like you know you do not get one week of intense job hunting network and just get out of it and you know come back a month later no you got to do it like if you are targeting one hour a day just do that one hour a day consistently that is the key to getting the job offer out here and yeah you would be getting that is that is a very you know because i have been there it is one of the most stressful thing i have gone through it like you know you get really stressed out about it when you are you know not getting in interviews or something like that but yeah i have like you know like once the process is done you would be eventually getting offers and then i am in middle of you know finalizing where i want to be from here so yeah that's pretty much about it Thank <laughs> you.